Wow, hello my people. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. Your wish has always been my command. Thanks always. Well, meanwhile, this is another one. Alright, this is another one. Happening now, over 300 talks in police uniform barricade weekes hotel in Benin. Okay, this is serious and this is another one. We have said these times with that number that this election is a do or die one. And as it is, a lot of people are scared right now in Edo State. Well, reports reaching our world gist suggest that not fewer than over 300 thugs dressed in police uniform have barricaded the hotel of Governor Yeson Wike, who happens to be the campaign manager of Governor Godwin Obaseki and Philip Shahibu's Edo gubernatorial re-election. According to the report, the barricade may have been sponsored by the erstwhile Governor Adams of Shomole, who is bent of playing the role of godfatherism of who become the next governor of Edo State. Tomorrow being 19th September is slated for Edo and Ondo gubernatorial election in which many analysts are of the opinion that APC who has failed Nigerian people is doing everything possible to retain power in those mentioned states. Recall that similar attack was staged in Kogi against Governor Sheyi Makede of PDP on the eve of Kogi gubernatorial election that was held in November 2019 that was eventually won by violence in which helicopter was used for the first time in the history of the world to rig election. Okay, a lot of people are like, wow, what is happening in Endo State? Are you sure Dagaban Tinumbu is not the one under this well a lot of people are like wow if that is the case issue they should all forget this edo is not lagos and as it is edo is not lagos that's what a lot of people are saying right now wow we have said it times with that number this election has been a thing of do or die in fact for the apc i don't understand i think the apc want to keep ruling for the next decades yes yet they have not done anything to make nigerians happy as i speak right now a paint rubber of rice is 2500 naira of which if you even buy four paint rubber of rice in a month it will not go anywhere nigerians are crying nigerians are wailing nigerians are not happy now we are tired we are tired of apc that is what a lot of nigerians are saying right now in fact as i speak right now Twitter is buzzing. A lot of comments are coming in. Okay, wow. Tomorrow comes September 19 gubernatorial election. Okay, that is what is happening right now in Wikes Hotel. About 300 disguised thugs dressed in police uniform surrounded the hotel of Governor Yeson Wike, who is the chairman campaigning for. Oh, Baseki. Oh, my God. What is actually happening in this country? Okay. And as it is, a lot of people have said it that, well, if that is a thing, this election, the rigging will not work because Nigerians will not support it. And as it is, a lot of people are even waiting. Let's see what happens in the end. Well, uh, my prayer is that Edo Light will be free from all these rigorous exercises that is about to take place tomorrow comes September 19 gubernatorial election well a lot of people have said it that well if that is the case we are not going to vote for pastor osage is because even jagaban himself has said it that we should not vote for obaseki then a lot of people actually wanted to like in fact with what we have seen so far a lot of people are like why well, i wanted to vote for pastor osage is but for Tinumbu to come out to say don't vote for Obaseki because Obaseki is not a Democrat. Oh my God. Then who is a Democrat? If Obaseki is not a Democrat, is Tinumbu a Democrat? Then if, if being a Democrat will make Nigerians to be 
crying if being a democrat will make nigerians not to have a good life if being a democrat will make this country to collapse then it's better not to be a democrat that is what a lot of people are saying right now meanwhile police has warned edo voters that they should not wait after polling they should not wait at polling units after voting okay that is to tell you that a lot of things will happen but they want to make sure they guide what is going to happen tomorrow so it's a warning for you all don't wait at polling units after voting meanwhile the nigerian police force has asked the police of edo state to return home immediately after voting rather than wait for the counting of the ballot okay the deputy inspector general of police in charge of research and planning adeleye oyebade who is to coordinate election in edo state said this on good morning nigerian program at nta on friday he said it is better to come do what you want to do and go home because some people will be kept behind bars and we will do proper investigation and diligent persecution of offenders that we will apprehend. Oyebada said aids to VIPs had been withdrawn until after the poll. He said the police would remain neutral during the exercise and vowed to arrest any political talks. Oyebada said movement remained restricted and advised any traveler planning to pass through Edo State to take an alternative route, the DIG urged the candidate who signed the peace accord to make sure to make sure that they abide by the terms of the agreement. However, the manager training Yaga Africa Paul James said people were free to remain within the polling unit to monitor their votes, adding that this would ensure the integrity of the election okay that has been said so far well the good lord will continue to help us tomorrow is just the election and uh, we are praying that edolites we have free and free movement tomorrow to be able to vote for their choice candidate well this is getting serious in fact now that the police has said that after casting your vote just go home and leave the polling zone and a lot of people have even reacted to the they were like why what do you mean by we should leave to go to the house we need to wait and count and know our vote so that is it so that there won't be any form of rigging afterwards that is what i've been said so far well my people on this one let me have your take and remember to subscribe for more updates if you have not done so Thanks and God bless.